Hello guys, in this video we will talk about service contracts, service contracts and data contracts. Uh, I never thought of making a video with this topic but I was asked to do that so I'm uh, happy to help and explain some of the uh, ideas behind uh, the uh, service contracts. As in explained in Magento, it's very brief in Magento documentation saying what is a service contract, uh, just a set of PHP interfaces uh, defined for a module. I think this is something not just specific for Magento but it's in every language even with languages without uh, interfaces like Ruby I've read that is doesn't have interfaces also it applies those principles in terms of non-breaking changes what does this mean module service contracts are two parts data interfaces and uh, service interfaces data interfaces like product interface or customer interface Interface, category interface service interfaces is like a product repository interface a customer management interface or customer repository interface so these types of interfaces those interfaces sits as a layer on top of a magento module and they serve in controllers what I call it is internal and web services and other modules PHP clients say for example a third-party module use your your service contracts so to see this in code I'm not going to code anything for this video but I'm I will just show you so if I go to the product repository interface you will have this interface and then you will have a method called save and then you pass a, a product inf interface a product of type interface and then you can save this uh, product uh, whatever changes you you put to it you you save it through the product repository interface and also there is a get this will get you a product by the SKU you pass in the SKU and then you get the product also get by ID so in a nutshell you just use this interface in your module and then you can be promised that whenever you call save and you pass product it will get saved even when Magento upgrade it will keep this promise so you don't get errors when when saving a product because this will never change the behavior or the idea behind the save method the save method will always be true and will promise you it will work even when Magento upgrades to a higher versions it will be the same for get and also for get ID and all the method methods here like delete delete by ID and get list we can also have the customer management interface and then it just gets the count of the customers so it just gets the customers collection and then it will get the size also you can have customer repository interface and this will give you the same exactly the same as in the product uh, repository interface and then you will have the entity interface or you call it customer interface or product interface and these are also a data services uh, sorry a data contracts are not a service contract so whatever repository is whatever sits inside API here these will be like a service contracts whatever inside the data the data will be a data contract the contract is not uh, new in the software engineer world because the contract is being used as interface or interface used as contracts they are used uh, interchangeably so you can call it a contract or you call it a interface whatever you call a contract or interface you promise there will be no breaking changes in the next version until you notify the user or the third-party user Maybe be a module creator or API creator so if I use interfaces what are the characteristics these are public interface to several endpoints here it shows the uh, endpoint is the controller I would call it a internal so this is an internal functionality so you can use it the interfaces inside controllers crons observers plugins etc so it's in the 
interface you create the interface and then you use it inside it for example in the last tutorial we used the preferences example and then we used the interface inside view model and this is internal use because I can use the repository interface inside a view model or inside controller or inside any other model maybe in observer or plugin because these are functionality ready to be used and I don't need to create the functionality again and again because these are all already a public API or public endpoints you can use now this is one of the usage the other usage is the web API used for API when whenever for the rest API or a soap API so if I go to the etc here and then I will go to the web API you would see there is a method or a, a API called v1 products and it uses the product repository interface and then it will call the save also you have product SKU you pass in the SKU to save it as well also there is a delete get list you pass in the criteria the search criteria or get you pass in the SKU and then you get so you can really use it as internal and as API the third usage is for a third party or external such as the third party modules if I create a third party module and you make usage of the product interface and I want to fetch products I can use this interface to get the product by ID or by SKU so these are the third main areas where the repository get used interfaces or contracts as I said these are not specific to Magento Magento call them maybe give them a big name as a service contract but these are really in different languages and in different frameworks you can use the service or interface uh, you can use the contract or use interface interchangeably so for example if I go to Laravel framework on github we can go and see in the SRC illuminate and then you will have a full folder called contracts and the these contracts are all of them are interfaces but they are called contracts so everything so it is, is similar to what Magento what Magento calls a service contract or data contract if I go to the Laminus framework in the github and then if I go to say for example Laminus cache and then inside cache I will go to the SRC from the SRC you will go for example to pattern and then you will see there is is called pattern interface so they call it interfaces but it's maybe a contract they call it uh, they mean it or maybe an interface but it means this is an interface whenever you use it you will get these methods none breaking and will be always backward compatible when you upgrade Magento to uh, higher versions also if I go to cake PHP for example as well and I will look for any I will go to cache and then in the cache you will also get an interface cache engine interface so they call it interface they append interface but Laravel call it a contract so this is I think uh, is interchangeable you can use it as a contract or use it in, as a interface Magento call it in the coding practices as interfaces but as a term they call it contracts and these contracts are just a way of defining a public API to be used by anyone and they promise you to to use it without breaking any functionality so they promise no breaking changes they will be easier to extend Magento because whenever you use a third party module or you want to create a, a module then you just need to use this interface although in terms of big projects like uh, enterprise projects in Magento you not always interfaces are not always enough sometimes you will use classes helpers Magento put their functionality everywhere not just in the interfaces they put it everywhere sometimes you use the images like uh, to display an image you will use the for example the uh, product view uh, block to display an image and then give it 
an ID to display it on the front on the front store but this is not something uh, you would call a solid implementation of a framework or enterprise because it's very difficult to define every use case to be set inside interface interface it just for those functionalities that is very clear and you are aware that these will be the same I will and will be rarely changed and the usage of these interfaces also will will imply a minimum risks to upgrade Magento so when you use these interfaces you don't have more risks uh, to upgrade Magento when you use uh, concrete classes concrete classes tend to be changed and when you use methods they will be changed for example in the last video we had the preference extended and then we extended the item in our module that extends other module and a next release or next version maybe this is changed the get warehouses will return say for example a array of classes or objects and not just array of text and this will break our module here so this is really not promising any fixed implementation of the feature because this is might this might change in the future so this you, you take it and you extend it and then it's at your own risk and there is no promise here so using the interfaces will be easier to upgrade Magento however what does it mean when you create a service and data contracts this means when you create a service or a data contracts you promise these methods will never change or when they change you will give a hint to the user before you change them say for example you have a new item you promise me that when I use the method the new item it will always accept a code and it never change if I use it it will not break when you upgrade when I upgrade to a newer version or a higher version now what if I want to change the behavior of this method it means this will imply I will only change it in major changes of the Magento version or the module version for example if I want to change this in the minor versions I will just deprecate it so you will say add deprecated and this will imply these will be removed in the future so you add a deprecated and this means whenever you use this this is at your own risk because this will be removed in the future if I want to add more functionality to it for example I want a new item but I want a new item and I want to pass a store as well not just a code because I have multiple stores in Magento and now passing a code maybe a code will be the same for two stores so I want to pass like uh, int store ID this will be a break and change so I might just go ahead and have a new method and I will say with store this will be figured out by the user and they will say oh we have two methods now we can ignore this and we use new item with a store because this we can pass a store ID and get the the specific warehouse or a specific item by passing a code and passing a store ID so we can have a specific item for the store ID because we are running on multiple stores and not on a single store now this is one of the things you, you might consider because this can be introduced in the minor versions in the future but you cannot use this here the store ID in this method as a second parameter because this will break code in minor versions so so if you just have this deprecated and you would say deprecated and uh, you might also would would really like to say as see new see new method here so whenever you click on it so this will tell you this is deprecated this will be removed but I will give you a hint you can use this method instead of using this one so this is how you construct your service and data contracts and you introduce code that will not break uh, when you upgrade and you don't make people having an issue with your code and you would see it like this so this is one of the things that uh, the service contracts and data contracts uh, try to keep in mind when implementing the idea or the term of the data interfaces and service interfaces so this will break the class we are implementing so I will just remove it now 
and I will remove this. So this is how you write your interfaces. It just keeps the idea, keeps the structure of your visual of how to write the data and service contracts. So I think this is the main purpose of having these module service contracts is to be used internally within a module you create or to use with the REST API or SOAP API and also to be used by other module PHP clients which is a third party modules and I think uh, this is a way of defining what is a service contracts or what is the uh, data contract so the benefits of these will enable Magento and third party developers to report system dependencies in composer.json so whenever you use interface from any module you might want also to add as a dependency in the composer and also in the module.xml file here we have in the module we should because we created an extension we didn't have any dependency but in ideal world you would have a module sequence here and then you define a dependency training uh, training and then preferences because we have this module it depends not this one because this one is dependent on the preferences so you can have this as dependent so this one way of defining the uh, dependencies and also you can have it in your composer JSON. I think uh, this is all I have to uh, explain about the uh, service contracts and data contracts and uh, I hope this will uh, clear some of the ambiguity. I hope it's helpful. Please if you like it like and subscribe and I see you in next video.